Hey everybody, how's your Wednesday going? Um, I had a little procedure this morning, so my back is a bit sore, but otherwise I am doing fine. Um, pain meds will be on deck here in a little bit. <laughs> but um, the only pain I'm having is from some stitches that I got. So I should be fine. No lifting or anything, but hey, it's all right, we'll get through it. Okay. What I have for you is some new sterling. I also have a few of the older pieces. I have a few of the rings that I wear from time to time. And um, just some all-around really nice pieces. So I think what I'll do is just go ahead and start. And um, like I said, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, don't forget the thumbs up. Um, hopefully everybody is, um, learning how to, you know, what is it, maneuver my channel. Um, email address is moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, just email me. If you're not sure how to purchase or how to, um, you know, how to maneuver through things, even if it's not my channel. If you need some help learning how to find the timestamp or the um, or how to do a screenshot on the video and things like that, I can help you do that. That's no problem at all. So, hopefully everyone will get to Friday and have a nice, calm weekend. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start now. So... I think the first piece that I will do, or pieces that I will do, oh, that was weird, okay, are these earrings, but I don't like the way it looks. I didn't see that before. Let me look at this real quick. Hmm. Okay, we'll put these aside. I've got some little dark spots that I'm not familiar with as to why a sterling would do that, okay? But I know they're sterling, but it's not a big deal. Okay, these are Vermeil, which is not, um, gold over 925. These are some of the fancy double um, hoops where you have the crystals also back here and here. So when you look at your ear, you're going to see a double area of crystals. These are gorgeous. These are Christmas like written all over them. All over them. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. These are really, really pretty. They have the little fork closure. That's what I call it. Um, these sometimes do have to be tightened up but you don't want to use a lot of pressure on them. I usually just use my little fingers, and um, that usually works fine. Um, let's see here. Let's tighten it up a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, so these are in fabulous shape. There are no stones missing on these. Then you have the holes with the other stones on the back side, as you can see as I turn them sideways here. And these are just marked, I think they're only marked 925. Let me get my loop open. I was watching Dr. Lori today, and she was talking about how to find out about sterling pieces. And she was talking about um, what was she say? How did she say it? What you want to look for is a number or a how did she say it? Um, purity, it'd be a purity number 925 18k. Um, 925 is sterling, of course. 
I have a piece over here that's 970 and 18K. Um, so, you know, along with pieces like that, when they're marked, they do cost a little bit more because they're better made. They're more, you know, there's more um, silver in them. Sometimes, like she was saying, the weight of the piece has a lot to do with pricing, which is true. Um, these two are very nice. Like I said, they're like little Christmas presents. I will put these in a really nice little box. And let's put 14 on these. These are gorgeous. Okay. So like she says, the 925 would be the purity mark. The maker mark would be like Napier, Tiffany. Um, there's so many companies. Shubes Manufacturing, which is the S with the line through it. Um, she talked about a Navajo artist, artisan, kind of like my Jay Lincoln that I had um, with Sterling written under it. That's how they do a lot of their pieces. They put their whole name on it. Um, and those pieces go for well over $150, $200 for those types of pieces. So she was very informative. If you ever want to watch her, I like watching those videos better than I like watching her interact with people because sometimes the people seem to get on her nerves <laughs> quite a bit. And uh, it kind of cracks me up. But anyway, she is a cool lady and she knows her stuff. That is for sure. So, we've got those earrings there. I think what we'll do now, we'll do a pendant that is on a beautiful box chain. I have, I think I have chains on almost all of my pendants. Um, this is just beautiful. It is marked... J and kind of an H all in one spot. 925. I believe. Let me look and see here. Yes. I, I don't know if you can see it or not. I mean, from where I'm at, this is like the brightest, most unbelievable <laughs> fluorescing. It's a ruby. They're real rubies. You see the fluorescence? Let me see if you can see it. Oh my gosh. It is like super freaking bright red. Orangish red. It's so cool. Okay. So these are real rubies. I wish I could show you better. Yeah, it's just so cool. So these are real rubies. Could be, like we talked about before also, they could be um, lab created, but they're still rubies. And the stones, I'm trying to see if these are stones or actually st little sterling dots. Um, which I call enhanced. Like enhancers. Yes, these, are, these don't have crystals. I do not believe. I think these are all enhancers. But it's a beautiful piece for anybody like with a July birthday or somebody that likes um, hearts. There are a lot of people that like hearts. It, it is on a beautiful rope chain. Like I said, it is approximately 18 inches. Get off of there. I think that's my hair. Um... And I'm going to do 22 on this one. Isn't that beautiful? It's really pretty. Put that over there. Okay. I put this. This is so cute. I had two of these. I had some. I purchased one. This one is kind of an older piece. It's definitely marked. I know it's 925. Um, it doesn't stick or anything. But it's that rough kind of matte looking sterling. Now this piece here is sterling and I think the only thing that's catching is the spring ring on this one. So I put this on this cord because it just it looks really nice on it 
and you've got the flowers. Very, very pretty in a resin. And I'll show you the resin. I'll show you what it's going to do. <laughs> It is going to fluoresce. Now you can see that. So what I'm thinking is, I don't know. It's cl almost clear. So I don't know if it's just a, a type of resin that they use like with amber. But it's got little bitty dried flowers. So it's sterling with a resin and dried flowers. It is not an amber color of any kind. Um, so I'm not going to say it's amber or anything. But I was just showing you how it fluoresced. And then we have the sterling um, lobster. Very nice one. 925. The cord is very nice. It's more like a... I don't know if that's leather or not. Could very well be... But it's just a really cute piece. Very fallish. It's just nice. So I'm going to put 12 on that one. So that is very pretty. Okay, let's do a ring. Let's do a ring. I've got a couple newer rings on, guys. Not super new, but newer. Let me see something here. Okay, I have a ring that I actually got um, and just thought it was, you know, pretty and um, put it up, set it aside. And I started telling myself, this is what you tell everybody. If you've got a nice band and the crystals are shiny, but a little bit, not real super see-through, you've probably got diamonds. Well, I took this to get it checked, and what we have here is, you see how the diamonds, they're not like CZs, they're not like super clear, um, it's, that's, that's like a CZ, see how clear that is, but these aren't that clear, but these are diamonds, this is 10K, this is a quarter carat, 10 carat gold, um, it's a little cathedral ring. It's a little, um, it would be like, it's like an enhancer, but it also could be an engagement ring. It's actually like an enhancer that goes with the, with the band. It could go with a smaller, this, this stone is awfully big. It could go with you know, a solitaire. Um, it could go with a three stone ring. It, you know, I mean, it, it's just very, very pretty. I'll show it to you by itself. With just the band. Let's see, I'll turn the band. There we go. And it's just dainty and pretty. Um, I thought I would sell it here on this platform um, just to see how it works out. Um, it was a quarter carat, and I was thinking 179. And I'll give you a size on it. Real quick. It should be about a seven, is what I'm thinking. Mm. It's a seven and a half, and I have really not polished it or anything. Um, probably just needs shined up a little bit, which I can get that done with no problem whatsoever. It's just a really, really pretty piece. Stunning, but not over the top. And inside, it does say what it is. It actually says a quarter t total weight. Um, One-fourth TW. That means a quarter carat. And then over here, it is. We'll see what it says. It says 
I think when I saw 10 carat, I dropped it and didn't even read the rest. It says, let's see. It says 10, goodness. It looks upside down every time I turn it. Um, it says 10K. And there's something else written in it, but it's very hard to see. Hold on here. There is a cartouche. Let's see. Then there is a an M. It doesn't say China or anything like that. And then 10K. So I am not sure what that is, guys. But it sure is pretty. So it says uh, the M and 10K on this side. On the, on this side, it says 1, 4, you know, 1 over 4 TW. So, I guess if anybody's interested, email me and we'll talk about it. Um, it's just a really pretty find. I don't know how um, gold would go over. Um, I don't know... If people are looking for it, uh, the scrap on that is not, you know, we wouldn't want to scrap it. That's for sure. It's too pretty. Okay, so let's keep moving. I'm going awful slow, but I feel slow. <laughs> My back feels slow. And we'll probably get through with a portion of this, and we'll finish it up tomorrow when I feel a little bit better. Okay, whoops. We've got a popcorn chain. We have two little girls. One is an amethyst. One is a citrine. These are all sterling. These little balls here are sterling. Um, I think they usually have three, maybe. Like one, two, and three. But you could do the two side by side if you want to and put those there. Or you could turn this into two separate um, necklaces for two different grandchildren or kids or friends or whatever. But the amethyst is gorgeous. The citrine is nice. If this these were boys, I would keep these because that would be kings and this would be Savions. So, and then we have the 925. Yeah, she talked about how, you know, the 925 Italy means it's Italian sterling. And then sometimes you have a actual name or usually the name is the town or the city or the, the place where this piece was made, if there is a name. Okay, so this says, oh wow. It says made in Italy. I haven't seen that in a while. Wow, usually it just says 925 Italy. Then on this side, it says 95. That's pretty cool. So this is probably a little older piece. And it is a spring ring. Did we get a length on this? I don't remember if we did or not, but I'm going to give it to you again. The length on the cord is about 17 inches. No, 15 inches, I'm sorry. This one is long. This one is about, let's see, 23 inches, almost 24. Nice little popcorn chain. It's all sterling. Very sweet. Um, I don't think we have a maker mark on the little girls. But I think they're made by different companies. They just say 925. That's all on the bail in the front. On the, I mean, I'm sorry, on the bail in the back. Hmm. So these are really, really cute. I'm gonna show them to you up close. Up close, they're cute. Okay. So we will put 15, since we have a just a little bit of sterling on those pieces, but like I said, I am just trying my best. 
to give you guys really good pricing. So, next. Oh, it's so hard to decide. Okay, I have a set. And I have showed these before. And I'll show you the piece. I'm going to look at it with the loop. When I look at it with the loop, I see more than just enamel, but let me check. Because I'm thinking this is lapis inlay. Because I have these little lines in it. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. It looks like lapis. Let me check this one real quick. Yeah. I can't swear by it because the whole piece is super cold. These are like solid Solid, sterling, Mexican sterling, Mexico, Mexico 925. I'll show you that. These, this is a beautiful set, absolutely. And I've never cleaned this one. This is just gorgeous. Mexico 925. Okay, these are all marked. Mexico 925, right there. Then we have um, sterling backs. And I put this unusual chain on it. I don't really like it because I see some dark marks. Um, I just, I need to clean it. I need to put it down in the cleaner and let it sit. I do believe this is more of a, um, I'll show you what I mean. It's just got some shadows that I don't like. So this needs to go into the cleaner and if it doesn't fix up, then I'll scrap it. I don't know why it's looking like that. It does say 925, I think. I thought it did. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this over here where I kind of keep a lot of scrap so I won't forget. Because a lady will tell me, you know, if it's like plated, She's usually able to tell. And I will put this on a really nice chain. Let's see, should I put it on a Singapore? Let's see. No, I think that's too, um, too silvery. I need something whiter. Um, let's see. I think this will work, I'm thinking. This should be okay. This is a whiter um, box chain. You want something that's sturdy and you've got a solid piece like this. And you guys, these videos do take longer because I have to do explanations. I have to do measurements. I have to tell you all the fine things about the piece. So that's not a problem at all. For me, I hope you guys don't get bored. Um, I'm going to have to postpone my trip tomorrow because I can't keep... I We want to um, video and go to thrift stores and there's like three or four Goodwills stores. There's a Salvation Army. But to jump in and out of her, she's got one of those great big Buick SUVs. And to jump in and out of it, I, I'm going to rip my stitches, so we're going to hold off till maybe Monday when I have a chance to take the bandage and make sure everything's looking good. So I think this is a more appropriate piece here. Isn't that pretty? And I have had this for sale once or twice, but it's been a long time since I've had it um, shown as far as sterling. So I'm gonna put 50 on this. This is, like I said, heavy. And I'm not doing this for any other reason than just to show, and like like, like I said, she was saying how weight has a lot to do with a, the value of a piece. And this is 24 grams, 23 grams. Um, that's, that's nice, that's a nice weight. Okay, so we'll put 50 on that one. 
The next piece I have, I do want to weigh. This is a Mexico 925 piece, and it is it is cartouched or marked, and it is... I think this is HDE. No. MOB. Or. Wait a minute. That wouldn't be right. So it's MOB. So I think I'll look that up real quick. But I wanted to show it to you. It. I don't think it ever had a stone. I don't think so. This is a heavy sterling. Mexican sterling piece. It opens like this. Do you remember the bracelet I had? This is like the baby of this piece. It is so funny. This is like the grandbaby of the piece. Isn't that hysterical? Now, this does have something in it, but I don't think this one down here, this big one, ever did. And I don't know what this one was marked or if it was even marked. I think this is quite an older piece, and I mean old. Um, yeah, I don't even see a marking on it. This is one I had to test because I didn't see a marking. But anyway, this is so cool, and it by itself is 17 grams. Um, it's, it's a big chunker. So, M-O-B, Sterling, um, Mexico, Sterling. Let's see if I can find it. Like I said, I hope I'm not boring you guys. Oh, God, I'd be so embarrassed. Okay, here we go. M-O-B. Yeah. Um, B-X-I-C-O. All righty. Let's see what it says. Let us see what it says. Rare pre eagle. Oh my. Let's see what it says. Okay, this is this is something that's signed M O B. Cool. So this. I knew I'd heard of this before. Um, let me click on this one right here. It says Sterling Silver Turquoise Cross, signed MOB Mexico. Um, the manufacturer's MOB. Hmm. So that is an a manufacturing label. Um. This was 1990s, this um, cross. Um, yes. So, we know that that is a company um, that makes jewelry. <laughs> I thought maybe it'd say somebody's name or something like this. This is a hunk. This is huge. It's nice. It goes on really easily. Then you, all you have to do is flip it down. If you don't have ear, if you don't have um, nails, it's a lot easier because you would just hold it just like that and push it back over. There we go. Oh, let's um, put it on the cone, the cone of shame. See how big it is. It's neat. It's big because it's like oblong. Okay, let me shut it. It is around seven and a quarter. But with it being oblong and opening at the top, I do believe this would go up to probably, I would say, a seven and a half. And maybe even a seven and three quarters, if not more. There we go. Because you can tell on my hand, it is a little bigger. Yes, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at it from a distance. 
Okay, this is 17 grams of Mexican sterling. An excellent piece. It's vintage. It's really pretty the way it's made. It's artistic. It's fabulous. And like I said, I don't believe there was ever anything in there. This is lovely. Because it's not a perfect circle anyway. So, and all the markings are right there. So we're going to put 40 on this piece. I just love it. I think it's so cool. Okay, let's get going here. Okay, I have something else. Now, this one is not on a chain. But if anybody wants this and they really don't have a chain to put this on, I will find something. I will find something. As a matter of fact, this might work. It's not as heavy as it looks. It is actually Mother of Pearl. Almost in a heart, it's kind of a um, triangle. And there are two pearls there. And then these earrings just are a great match. If I can get it picked up. I can hear the baby. He's not crying, he's just singing. He just sings when he jumps. And he has been screaming lately, and it has been hysterical. It's like screaming because he's happy. And uh, I just look at him and scream back, and he just laughs. He just thinks that is so funny. Um, I'm just putting this on there because I don't know. Somebody might not like it. They might like the pendant, but not the chain. The chain is a little bit lighter than it should. This would look great on a rope like a rope chain, and I don't have any. The ropes I have, I wear. Um, this thing is gorgeous. Look at that. This I tested. Um, I do believe this is older. I'll show you the back. You can see the mother pearl there and the two real pearls there. Um, where was it? Let's see. A lot of times it'll be right there on the bale, but I, I, I just don't see anything on there. Hmm. I really don't. Well, we'll do a scratcher. We will do a scratcher, because I don't like, you know. Where was it I scratched before? Right there. It's just beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful scratch. And I'll do it down here on the end piece. <laughs> it's like sterling big time. But I would rather show you than have somebody have a question. Hold on here. I can't bend to get it. I don't wanna have a problem. Because if the stitches come out, it's just going to have to heal that way. Isn't that awful? Okay. There's that. There's that. Yep, they're turning blue. And then I put with this these earrings here. Because they're just such a perfect match. And these are the type that you undo in the back. They're very cute. Very nice. Okay. Just a beautiful piece. Um, I'll show you the blue. It's kind of hard to see. I hope you can see it. Don't get on my finger. Ew. Okay. Nine one one. <laughs> You've got acid eating away. Okay. Well, at least you can tell that is. Okay. So on this piece with the earrings, I'm going to put 30 because I did add that um, necklace. If somebody would like um, a box chain or if someone has a necklace, just let me know. Um, I think 25 is a good price for it. Um, get 
this out of the way. So we can put this over here. The chain itself is probably worth 12 to 15. So you're getting a really pretty vintage chain to go with. So, and these two here, these are so cute. And put those right there. They're kind of bezel set just like this. Okay, next. Let's don't get acid in our eye. Okay, next. Let's see what should we do. Okay, here we go. Jade. I already sold the, the, gold, the green one. So we have the pink, which is fabulous, which I wear it quite a bit. This is right at a size nine, almost a nine and a half. It's a nine and a quarter. Let's just say nine and a quarter. Um, very pretty, super, super cold, very pretty. I think this one is also the same. Yes. It's a, just about a 16th of an inch tighter. Those two are absolutely beautiful pieces. Um, they are not as dainty as you think. Um, I think I'll do 20. No, let's do 18 on each. Because these are beautiful. You can see the kind of striations in this one. And you can sit really well in the pink. Hold on here. <laughs> I can hear the baby. He's like, Arr. very pretty. But he's got so many teeth coming in. I mean, the poor child. So he's got six that are already down. And the four top ones are still, you can see them, but they're still coming down. Then he's got four I think in the very back in the back that are coming through it's just kind of crazy I never in my life thought that he would have that many teeth already but hey okay this is a beautiful piece I put it on a gorgeous chain this chain needs cleaned it'll clean up to be just really a silver color kind of like this um, I paired them because I just thought it was a good match. Um, very interesting. And if nothing else, you could take the chain off and wear it alone by itself. It's a vintage chain. It has, it's like a wheat chain with um, kind of a scallop around both sides. It has an older <laughs> lobster clasp. And it doesn't say anything on it. It just says 925. And I don't see anything else. Right here. Isn't that pretty? And this piece is gorgeous. This, this is the amber piece. Yeah, you can see it. I don't know why it didn't sell last time. I'm not real sure. You can actually see... The little doodads in there. My goodness, child. Um, yeah, you can definitely see it. I am not positive. The light blue looks like Laramar, but it could be some type of turquoise or something close. I don't think that they would put plastic in here. If you've got amber and all this sterling, this is completely all sterling. A huge piece. Huge. It is marked somewhere on this big, big huge piece. I can't remember where, so let me look around. I know it's here. It's in a weird spot. Oh, <laughs> no wonder. It is marked right on the very tip top, and you can just barely see it. Now, this has filigree and hearts in it, little designs. It's very pretty. 
I'll show you the mark on it. It's right there on top. So this with the with chain and everything, this is 45. This is amber, don't forget. It is actually an amber medallion with what I think, I think it's Laramar, but it could be turquoise, it could be something else. There are no veins to speak of running through this. Just a light, like almost like a light yellow. When you loop the amber pieces, you can see the dots. You can see the little, what might be little vegetation pieces in there. But yes, these are actually stones, and I do believe this might be Laramar. Because you have the blue, and then you have this really light yellow. Um, kind of a lining little pieces that go through it just little little telltale lines that are yellow all right but the, I love this chain and this like I said can be shined up I have not worked on it I know a lot of people like to do it themselves my I'd like to do it myself and um, I'm gonna let people do that Let's see where we're at on time. I have taken way too long for this, but it's okay because I'm half out of it anyway. Um, let's do the carnelian that I got. This is just darling. Let me take off my ring here. Okay, this is interesting. I need to have it um, worked on, but I don't know. I just think it's beautiful. I have no idea who made it. All it says is 925. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And that is the back part of it. So it's bent, very bent. So my, um, I have another one of these, this metal. And then I have a mallet. But I cannot use my mallet on pl a plastic mandrel. So I have something I need to take into the... Um, I'll tell you guys about it later. I, I need to take into the jewelry store. So when I do, I'll take that ring. Okay. You've already seen this ring just for a little bit. Carnelian and Sterling. It is a lighter bezel back through here. It's not real thick. Very nice though. It is marked um, somewhere. Where I put it? See, every piece I have to loop it. It's just 925. There's no maker mark on this. I do believe this is an older piece. Look at the designing on this. Isn't that pretty? Just beautiful. Okay, 95 is right there in the... Yeah, that's right there. You can see it. And along with this, and this is a real flat. It's not a cabochon because it's flat, so it's just a flat cabochon. We'll just put it that way. It's just cool. It looks almost like a signet ring, if you know what those are. Um, and these are just beautiful earrings. These are 925, and there is no maker mark. To me, these are beautiful. I just think they're cool. These can be cleaned a little bit. They'll be a lot more silver if you wipe them down, but some people don't want them all silver. Look at the carnelian color just beautiful makes me want to eat that werther's candy <laughs> and that's um and then this so i've got this set here let me give you a size on the ring these earrings are right at about an inch and a quarter 
not quite an inch and a half. Very nice size. Um, just very pretty. This ring, I think, is an eight. I'll check it real quick. Yes, it is an eight. And not even an eight and a quarter. So it's between eight and eight and one eighth. Because usually if it's eight and a quarter or eight and a half, I can get it on this finger very comfortably. Plus, when you have a wider ring or a thicker ring, it's going to be um, harder to put it on your finger. Um, if it's like an eight and a half, it'll fit more like eight and a quarter just because of the size of the bezel here and the yeah but this is gorgeous so I think I'm gonna put 35 on this set um what else should we do real quick let's do yeah we're at 46 that's not bad not for ha having to explain each piece now, you guys loved my puffy heart. I do have another one somewhere. I'm going to have to find it. But I got this locket. <gasps> Isn't it exquisite? And I put the lightest colored um, box chain I had on this one because it's so shiny. Um, there is the clasp there. This is the opening. There's just a little indentation there. Very easy. This one's very easy to open. It is absolutely beautiful. And it just clicks. And if it doesn't click right, all you have to do, you know, I mean, if it's coming off or opening up, it has this little doodad right there. And all you have to do is... Either pull it down a little bit, like just a tiniest bit. Let's see if I fixed it. Yeah, it's going to stay. Okay, it's good. It doesn't say anything, but it has the most beautiful designs. Look at that. I haven't cleaned this. This thing is absolutely amazing, isn't it? And I think the bell here, yeah, this is the front because it's got the little lines there. So let's measure the heart. It's beautiful. It is right at an inch and a half, a little less. And this is, yeah, it's about an inch and a half both ways. We have the... Um, the bail on here is about a half an inch. And then we have, let's turn it around here. It is almost 18 inches, the chain itself. So that'd be 19, 20, 20. It'd be about 21 inches total at the bottom as it's on your neck. And I'm up at 25 on this one. It's just beautiful, guys. Love it. It's not heavy either. It's, um, what would you call it? It's just the perfect weight. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. It'll hold the, you know, it'll hold your chain down so this doesn't keep flipping around. Do you guys have a necklace like that where the back is continuously down here? I think that has to do with the weight of the piece that it's on. I'm trying to figure out what I did. Oh, I know. I I felt that. I took one of my chains off. Here it is. <laughs> there it is. But see, I wear ropes. So I've got this because of the baby. He can pull and pull and pull on this. You know, and I always make him stop. But every now and then he'll snatch it. And I haven't had a single one of them. I have a second one on too. I haven't had either one of them break. So these, these suckers are strong, I guarantee you. They are stronger than the um, box chains by far. I've had quite a few box chains break. I have never had a rope break that I remember, ever. 
So I'll put that over there because I got to put it back on my neck. Um, I was changing out pendants. Oh, this is pretty. This is real pretty. Let's do this one next. I got some nice stuff, guys. I just love it. This is Marcosite. Let me make sure everything's on here. Yep, it's just kind of. Yes, there we go. All I did was wipe it a little bit. I think it just was. Um... Yeah, this has not been cleaned either. This has. Let me see if it has markings. Um. Yeah, it does. 925. And it is a bit dirty on the inside. I will clean this up. Or the person that gets it can do it. I, You know, it's up to them. If I clean it up, I would use a... When you have marcosites, you can't do much of anything with them. You will mess up. <laughs> and two or three of the stones will be gone. So what I do is take a Q-tip with a little bit of Dawn, a little bit of water, and clean that stone and dry it. Just let it air dry. Don't wipe it. Don't. And then if you want to... Um, Clean the silver on this one, just use a cloth and go around that part. I wouldn't mess with this. You could even um, put this, take this off and put it down in the dawn, but you would not want to immerse this into the water. That would be a mistake. I think it actually loosens up. Even though these are bezel set, or these are prong set. I'm sorry, it's not bezel. These are prongs set with the little dots. And I still think that they probably use a jeweler's glue to keep them in. Even though they are, you know, kind of settled down in there. This is almost 18 inches. This is really nice, guys. This is probably an aquamarine. The blue is very, very pretty. And the marcasites are nice. They're all there. I like them across there. That is so cool. So let's do 22 on this one. It's just very unusual. What time is it? 52. Let's do a couple more rings. Um, okay, I have an amethyst. And it is beautiful, guys. It is almost like a man's ring. But it's awfully feminine looking. I just think it's so pretty. And you have the stones that kind of are on a diagonal. These are what you call bezel set. They are set with this um, line here and this line here. And they are set in. I think they actually, ooh, that's a nice setting. They set them in from the back, and then they're these are caged in. If you can find that, let me see if I can get you to see them. Oh yeah, you can see them from there. These are caged in. Those are so cool. I don't know. This I know it says nine two five. When I bought this, me and the girl were laughing about it. She's like, "You have amethyst on your mind." or on your brain or something like that, because I had picked out about two or three of them. And I was like, well, you know, that's my baby's birthstone. And um, I've got a couple, I've got two, two best friends that are amethyst people. My mother, my, my brother that passed away was an amethyst person. February was a good time frame for people that I love. So, yeah, I kind of like amethyst. That's an amethyst I forgot. With a, um, almost looks like a aquamarine and a peridot with that one. You guys didn't see my new one. Isn't he cute? He looks like my tiger. Wait a minute, let me find it. If I don't kill myself trying. Yeah, they look alike. They're like brothers, except he's like really, really in the jungle. He's, he's the, he's the, um, kind of normal guy, you know, he's, he's extra. 
He's he's an extra type. He's kind of flamboyant. He's got green eyes. <laughs> he's got green emeralds for eyes and he's got diamonds. And his brother is just plain but fierce. He's got teeth that come down. The tiger doesn't. The tiger's mouth is closed. The panther's ready. He's ready to pounce. Look at his teeth. <laughs> I just thought he was so cute. Now, I did have to clean him. He was murky looking. He was very dull and almost black. And I think sometimes that's people just don't want the piece because they don't even know it's sterling. They just think it's ugly. But yeah, he's he's pretty cool now. Okay, I'm going to do one more piece. These are darling little turquoise earrings. Aren't those sweet? So you've got four little stones. This little pretty little... It's like a cornflower design. I'm not sure if these are, you know, from Mexico. I, I don't think there's a mark on these. I certainly don't see one. But they are darling. They are definitely sterling. I checked. Made sure. Yeah, I'll bet you what happened is that the clasp is what told about, you know, the, is what told about the piece, which is not uncommon. But yeah, these are cute. These are about dime size, maybe a little bigger than a dime. Um, they're open work, so you're, it would show your skin through it. I just think they're cool. Um, very small. They have sterling backs. They look very nice, even on the back. They are approximately... Um, a little over a half an inch. So these are everyday wear. And like I said, they look like a cornflower or something similar. And let's put 12 on these. They're so cute. I'm going to put 12. We're almost at an hour. Let's see. Is there anything else to do real quick? Um... <laughs> you hear the baby? Oh, we can do this one because we've already seen it. This has something in it that I'm not sure what it, what it is. It is um, sterling on the back of it, but then I just think it's a piece of glass, honestly. It's almost like the flat stone there. Um, not real sure what's going on with it. This one is made very, very similar to this but about an eighth of the size. This is Big Daddy, this is Baby. Um, yeah, it's very, very cool. I think this is not marked, and I had to actually, yes it is, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, it is marked. Kinda like that one. It's marked on the back of the first bezel it is 925, and it says something here. Yeah, I just barely saw it. 925. It's upside down. Wow, this is so tiny. 925. Let's see. I'm getting out the big guns, guys. The 60 loop. It says H. What? H something. Okay. Let's do it, guys. Ah, my light is gone. It's like H. 
H U N N Y. H. I'm sorry, guys. This is cool. H. H M N. I don't know. I'll try to look at it later. But it's definitely marked, guys. So there is no need to t really test it. It's marked with a maker's mark. And this has, you know, this is a nice piece of sterling also. This is not going to bend. It's going to go on easily. You know what I mean? You just have to kind of pull it on. And then it closes here. All you got to do is take it and flip it on there. Let's do the cone and let's see how big this thing is. Yeah. We are almost done for tonight anyway. We're right at one hour. So this one is showing probably six and a half. So it's not very big. But like I said, it does open, you know. This has got little dark spots there. I think it just I think it's just tarnish. I think that's the same thing that's wrong with those earrings. I'll have to clean them up. But this is nice. It's very pretty. Looks good on. It's thick down through here where it needs to be. So let's do 18 on this. It should be a lot more. But we are going to stop there, and we will finish up tomorrow. I think I can get through it all. And like I said, this is not all my sterling. This is just some of the newer pieces and some of the pieces I'd like to show. I want to show today. Um, I don't know if I ever got through with this amethyst because I don't remember. I do not remember. This is actually a right at about a nine nine and a quarter yeah i think i went overboard here and it is nine two five right there yeah there we go right there and um it is just gorgeous isn't that pretty i'll show it to you up close bezel set you can see the stones. You can see the spaces in between. Um, it's a heavier piece. It's thick. It's nice and thick. <laughs> and we could put... Let's put 26 on this one. Okay? All right, now let's stop there. I'll leave everything as is. And we can work on tomorrow. If anybody has any interest in the uh, little engagement ring, well, it's not really little. It's a quarter of a carat. It's a quarter carat total weight. 10 carat gold with real diamonds. Tested. Um, jewel, jewelry tested, not, let's put it this way, jeweler tested. Okay? And um, I might have a big surprise for you guys tomorrow. Um, the piece probably that I'm going to show you won't be available till Tuesday or Wednesday because I'm going to get it cleaned up. And uh, I think you guys will be shocked when I show it to you. So we will have another wonderful day tomorrow. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so I'll be right around here. And we'll do try to get the rest of this done and then we'll start on something else or we'll um, go back into some vintage okay all right you guys talk to you soon you guys stay well and stay blessed